hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's Eki today's video is a makeup transformation and a product review on some products that I got from the fair so if you want to know my thoughts on the products and if I'm going to be using them again then stay tuned while we get right into this video I'll be trying out this new product from Nyanga Beauty this is their concealer and this is their Bluffet setting powder and I'm also going to be trying out this uh, retractable pencil from this mid makeup so first I'm going to be highlighting underneath my eyes using the Nyanga Beauty smooth match concealer first off I love the packaging from this angle here you will see the name of the concealer that you're buying so it came like this I love the way it is it says is waterproof long-lasting conceals imperfection water uh, is lightweight as much as it's uh, long-lasting and it's also high performance it mimics the appearance of skin so we are going to see all that in this video this concealer is sold for 5000 this is in the shade smc3 <coughs> put that at my chin and bridge on my nose put that here this is more of a yellow undertone so i was giving this sample sizes i was giving the samples to try on so I was giving the SMC 2 and 3 so I'm going to add this SMC 2 right at the inner corner of my eyes to lighten this area a bit so I'm going to add that a bit here and on my forehead and I'm going to add that here as I leave this to dry down a bit before I blend, listen to what the owner of Younger Beauty said about this concealer. In waterproof, creamy concealers, um, they are really high performance and they are available in about six shades. And we've done it in such a way that um, because we are an African beauty brand and we we're not we're not, we're not waiting for any other person to solve our issues. Comes in six shades. That's the, the medium, the light, the medium, and the dark. So I am in the medium category. From you know Nigeria to the world, and we want we made them in such a way that they're available in six shades. So we have light categories, medium categories, and dark categories. So we have SMC one and two for the light, light categories. SMC three and four for the dark, uh, medium categories, and SMC five and six for the dark categories. So I'm going to blend that out. You've heard from the Aussie's mouth what this concealer is all about, but I'm still gonna be giving you my own thoughts on this. I'm using this brush from Vicabel in NK5 to blend that out so I'm just going to stipple that on and just push the concealer into my skin don't allow this to dry down too much this concealer is not a luminous concealer it's not also a matte matte concealer when you apply as I'm Blending is drying down. Take your time when blending so you don't have patches. And I'm using this beauty sponge to just push everything inside because I feel the beauty sponge does better for me when it comes up to blending. And the reason why you leave your concealer to dry down is not only to you know be able to blend well but it also gives you a black coverage and give you that flawless look underneath your eyes next i'll be setting underneath my eyes with this setting powder from nyanga beauty and it's called nyanga beauty bluffet smooth setting powder this is in custard this is how the packaging looks like it's simple it's pocket friendly what I mean pocket friendly is something you can just take and put inside your bag and off you go. The purple color, I love it. And 
so yeah this is how the I don't know if you are seeing that from there this is how the color looks like it's exactly like a custard color so because I fall under the medium category that is why I got this shade so probably I'm going to get the lighter shade this has like a label here that you can just pull out so it gives room for your powder to come up, come up and then it has this thing that if you want to lock it so it will not pour out so the ones that already poured out this is this is it here and then it has this thing that you can just turn over and you see these holes over here and you turn it back and it covers so that your powder is secured my under eyes underneath my eyes the concealer it's it's full coverage i have i have little to no creasing i love the coverage i love the consistency of the concealer so i'm just going to further just blend a little just to be sure that there is no creasing i'll be setting underneath my eyes i just tap that and i'm tapping off the excess powder i start by placing it right here i'm pushing it into my skin i'm also going to be leaving a video here so that you hear what Nyanga Beauty said about the setting powder. Because I mean, if you have to be concealed, you have to set it. And so we also launched our perfect smooth setting powder. Super easy to use. It controls oil, gives you zero flying back, and has an amazing fast blowing effect. They also are available in the same light, medium, dark category. So if you if you follow that SMC one and two skin categories, that's the light shade, you would use the shade um milky. And if you follow under the medium category, if you use the SMC three and four concealer, you would use the custard. And if you follow under the dark skin category, you would use the cinnamon setting powder blocker. Just make sure you press that into your skin properly to set the whole of the areas that I highlighted so I'm taking that to my brows take that to the bridge of my nose you see that I'm dusting off the excess powder I'll be drying my brows using the Vismid retractable pencil so this is one of the products I also got from makeup fair and this is my first time actually using any product that has to do with business filling my brows and also outline let me see how it works this is the brush and here is the retractable pencil let's see how length it is and this is sold for 1000 naira guys you can hear that noise that's all one thing I don't like retractable pencil for is it, it easily breaks. Little mistake, you lose the whole of the pencil. It has happened to me before. I just got a pencil and before you know it, the whole thing. Like when I was rolling it up, before you know, it broke. So if you want to really enjoy this pencil, don't roll it up too high just a little like this will do the job so that you will not lose your pencil so i'm going to use this to outline my brows this pencil is matte so i'm brushing up my brows do this with a very light hand Guys, I'm just brushing to see where there is space so I'll fill that up. This pencil is easy to use. This pencil has two shades. They have the O3 and the O2. 
and they gave me the O2. I was actually thinking this pencil was going to be light, that the O2 was going to be light, but it's shocking that the O2 is even darker. Like my brows looks dark, which I'm going to do something to that. Using the Nyanga Beauty Concealer in SMC2 to highlight my bottom lashes. My bottom brows, rather. Guys, because the brows is too dark, I'm going to be using this concealer. Lighten up my brows a bit. Okay, so that is that for the brows, guys. I'll be using the Mera Cosmetics Liner in charcoal to line my waterline. This is one of the products that I went to the fair for. That, like I told you guys that this product actually took me to the fair but I did not see them on time so after spending my money that was when I saw them so I just had to buy this pencil because they were the reason why I went to the fair so I just want to try this on here for the first time so we see how how charcoal is pardon my eyes guys my eyes is getting red or well, anytime you want to line your waterline it's best you pull down your lower lip and then you line so I'm doing the same thing this is the final look I know you want to know my thoughts on all the products for the concealer I really love the consistency I love the, the full coverage that it has if you leave it for a while I do leave all my concealers for a while before I blend just to give me that full coverage and also it makes it easier for you to blend you won't have those um, dark patches whenever you leave it for a while I love the packaging you think is 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 a lip stain it's really beautiful I love the color I love everything about it but the problem I have with the concealer is the pricing and another problem I have with it with it is that I don't feel that there's enough product inside this thing I'm not saying you should it should be filled to the brim yeah but at least let not be like I'm exaggerating I feel like there's nothing inside even when I, I took it the first time I noticed some you know when you use a product and it's, it's out you see some places that are just empty that's what i noticed with that concealer for the price uh i don't know if i'm going to buy younger beauty concealer again probably if they bring down the price it's too expensive i got it for five thousand naira. for the setting powder you see how my under eyes is set it gave me this blurring effect I love the fact that it has this soft and silky feel there are some certain powder that you use that you see when you place it underneath your eyes you you as if it's bubbles that is coming out of it or balls little little balls i didn't see that in this uh, setting powder i love the feel i love the silkiness i love how it applies on my skin and the blurring effect that it gives I really like it for the price range is very very okay this is retail for 6,000 naira. I really really love it am I going to use this setting powder again yes obviously I'm gonna use it and I'm going to buy the other two shades of the setting powder because i'm in the medium category so i got the custard so i'm going to buy the light shade and the darker shade for 
my clients because I don't want to <laughs> be selfish so I need to use this on my clients as well so I'm going to get the other two shades yeah the pencil that I use it was easy to use and uh, for the fact that is retractable you don't need to you know start looking for sharpener to sharpen it I love it the feel is matte it's very very easy to use like I said before do not twist it to don't twist it too high if not it's gonna break and <laughs> that'll be a waste of resources now i got it in the shade chocolate is number 202 so i actually wanted the the 03 because i was actually aiming using this pencil for my clients not even for myself that was why i wanted the dark the the 03 because i felt it was going to be more darker because I usually have issues when I, I meet with a very dark skin person so my brow products don't really show up on their skin except I have to use a black pencil to line afterwards they gave me O2 even when I got home I was like I asked for O3 why did this girl put O2 but shockingly to my greatest surprise is very dark for my skin and i'm sure it's going to be very very good for a dark skin person beast mead uh, makeup retractable pencil it's a go-go finally we get to talk about this pencil this is a precise eyeliner from mera cosmetics that's what i use for my waterline like you guys saw me using it i love the fact that it's smooth and the dark is really dark so i love this pencil i'm going to try out there are other products like i told you guys if you watch my vlog i told you how i missed them at the makeup fair because they were the reason exact reason why i went to the fair but i couldn't find them on time and before i could locate where they were i've already spent all my money so i just had to buy the pencil at least to you know to have a feel that okay i actually got something from them so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you love this video and you want to see something like this again leave a comment down in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe right here and also ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos thank you so much for watching stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys